BRUCEDUDE.COM Okay, real quick, for those of you that don't know, I work at a car dealership, and part of my job is to shuttle people around while they're getting their car fixed. Some people are nice, some people are fucking assholes, and some people are totally fucking crazy. The lady I took home today is one of the latter. She's a regular Fruit Loop that comes around the dealership all the time, and the last time I took her home, she basically began to weep openly to me about her divorce. What are you supposed to do in a situation like that? I don't know. I'm sorry about your divorce. Divorce there, lady. Uh, divorces are stupid. I don't know what the fuck to say. So she comes in today, and my boss is like, just shuttle her around, do whatever she wants to do, and don't bitch about it. So she decides she wants to go downtown to go to her bank. And at first, everything's cool. We're in the van, and she's stone cold quiet, which is kind of strange. But she's totally quiet for a good 10, 15 minutes. And then that damn Alex Clare song comes on the radio that's like, And it feels like I just to close the love you bum 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 and this bitch just snaps out of it she's just like oh i love this song and just reaches over to the radio and cranks it up and i mean she blares it all the little volume bars on the display are totally lit up i almost peed my pants and i'm like what the hell is this bitch doing this fucking windshield's gonna explode so i'm trying to keep the blood from coming out of my ears and i look over and she's just getting down, just getting nasty. So here we are, probably in the worst neighborhood in the entire city, in a white soccer mom minivan, getting down to some Alex Clare. The best part is, is she leans over halfway through the song and she's like, hey, are you single? Uh, no, I couldn't fucking say no fast enough. We finally get to the bank and she goes in for about 15 minutes and then she comes directly back outside. But she doesn't get back in the van. She just stands in front of the bank. She pulls this wool hat over her face so she can't see anything and just stands there for like 15 minutes. I took a video of it because I was like, this chick is crazy. So there she is, you know, just standing there, just uh, just ignoring reality all around her. And right when I ended this video, unfortunately, she starts screaming, just praying to God. She's like, Lord, give me the strength to deliver these men from evil. And I'm like, holy shit, I gotta get out of here. So she gets back in the van and just starts bawling. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry about your bank there, Miss uh, Lady. Uh, I lose my shit in front of banks all the time, too. So she tells me to drive to the BMV, and she just sits quietly there to herself for the next 10 minutes, which is great. But then right out of nowhere, she's like, I need to eat. I need to eat to live. Just out of nowhere, she starts yelling that. And I, it freaked the shit out of me. I almost jerked the car into oncoming traffic. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. And I'm like, I, I do too. I need to eat to live as well. So we stop at Steak and Shake, and she gets herself a nice fat burger. And here's some more footage that I managed to risk my life for to record her eating this damn burger. Some people would say she's eating it. I'd say she's molesting it. We get to the damn BMV, and she gets out, and she starts smoking a cigarette right outside the front door. And then for whatever reason, she starts spitting everywhere. Just spitting on the windows, on the door, on the sidewalk, just spitting. <laughs> And it's just disgusting as hell. And some customer walks out and he's like, Oh, what the fuck? She goes in there for an hour, comes back out, and doesn't say a word again. It's just stone cold quiet. And I'm like, okay, maybe we can get through this. But now every like 15 seconds, she starts to giggle. <laughs> I turn and ask her, I'm like, what the hell is so funny? And she's like, nothing, don't worry about it. Oh, shit. Well, that was terrifying. So I'm sitting there trying not to poop my pants from sheer anxiety. And I start thinking, what am I going to do if this bitch tries to attack me? Because I'm not going to end up a damn lampshade in Psycho Lady's fucking house. The only thing I can think of is I have to be crazier than she already is. And I should just turn to her and be like, hey, lady. I can taste colors. Mmm, purple's my favorite. But thankfully, I didn't have to resort to that. We made it back to the dealership. I dropped her off, and I'm currently undergoing a strict therapy regimen to get normal. So if you're in Ohio and you see a 40-something-year-old lady in a beige Mercury Montego, you better look the fuck out because she is loopy as hell. And if she's hungry, you get her ass a burger. And if she fucking laughs, it's none of your goddamn business. The end. 
Oh, and I also wanted to just say that uh, we gave her a loaner car to drive during the day, and uh, she had it towed because she said she was downtown, and she gave a homeless man $4, and he stole her keys and kicked a dent in the car, and now she can't drive it. Boy, if I had a nickel.